TJ renamed the Radio Family Charity Peyton's Promise. And um, we've been able to do some things in her name, especially around Christmas, to help some families that were in need. And that was just an incredible gesture by somebody who has been there for me in so many ways he and his family don't even realize. But what do we do now? <laughs> Come on in. Day four. Let's do it. <laughs> this whole idea started because when I gave my daughter's eulogy at her funeral, one of the things I said to everyone was, is that for her friends and her family and all, we must now live a little bit harder, laugh a little bit louder, open our hearts to more people, give a little bit more than we normally would because these were things that were important to Peyton. These were things that she wanted to do in her life. And now that she's not here, we need to pick up the mantle, take up the cause and do these things for her and in her name. The best way I know to do something that she would have loved was to do something fun and ridiculous and a little bit crazy on the radio because these were the types of things that she loved growing up. And that's how we came up with the idea uh, with Peyton's Promise 500 launching about the same time. It just so happened it worked out perfectly that a 500 mile bike ride would be the greatest way I could think of to pay tribute to her. So we made the announcement on the second anniversary of her death, trying to make that day a little more positive because that's what I've told people we need to do is find a way to turn this tragedy into something positive for other people. And that's how we came about with pedaling for Peyton, riding 500 miles to raise money for her because I know that she would have found it crazy and she would have gotten a huge kick out of following it all and being involved in it. Were she here to do it with me? and I'd give anything if she was. I was coming up this hill. Wait, turn around, I'll show you. I was coming up this hill, and there was a lot of traffic. And all of a sudden, this thing was in the road, and I had traffic on me, and I went around it, but it slopes off steep down, and I hit this curb, and it threw me off over here. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Oh, you know. All right. <laughs> it happens, I guess. You got, you got all cleaned up, though. Yeah, not too bad. I'm not hurt. We're all right. A little banged up. We're good to go. That was a hill. After 53 miles, that was... That was unbelievable. For some reason, this feels harder than an 80-mile day for some reason. To this point, it, is, it was, I think. It, it, the 80 mile day was easy to, to 40. After 40 is when it got really hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, today's been really hard though. A lot of hills, it's all hills. It's North Georgia, mountains, it's just down and up and down and up. And then of course there was the crash that set us back <laughs> quite a few minutes after the little crash. So uh, just hanging in there, 20 to go, um, praying that we get a flat. Like yesterday we caught about a 10, what, 10, 12 miles? Mm -hmm. That was just flat. And that was an, a great relief uh, to me. We made up a lot of time right there. So hoping we can get some of that today, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna all be hills. What's going through, what goes through your mind when you're like out there and, the, and you're just like, and the, it seems miserable and feels miserable? How miserable it seems and feels. <laughs> what I, <laughs> I didn't know if you were thinking about why you're doing it. Or uh, you use that as sometimes, yeah. I think about um, things that I have thought about is that a lot of it is proving to myself that I can do it. Because I'm, uh, nah, it's the whole thing. I've been kind of down on myself for the past couple of years and disappointed in myself. And so this part of the reason for doing this was trying to shake myself out of, you know, getting into something that I can believe in myself a little more again. Yeah, I think about Peyton a lot. I think about my mom. Yeah. I think about that lady that sent the message. I, I don't have her name in front of me, but they said when she sees the overhead shots that you shoot, that that's what you know it looks like for Peyton. So that and how stupid this was to decide to do. <laughs> you know, so we're hanging in there. We'll get it done, no problem. Day 
24. We're done. That sucked. Yeah, I was worried about you today, man. I didn't think today would be worse than yesterday because of the distance, but wow. I don't know that it was worse, but God, it was all hills. And I'm in a really crappy mood now, so sorry. That's okay, man. It's all good. That's how I feel right now. I didn't expect you to be kind of the whole way. Pissed off, so. That's all right. Let's go eat.